Well hello FME friends, today I'm making a small video for you about the test filter and in particular one feature of that transformer that is fairly new and you might not be aware of yet. So let's see what the test filter does. Well here I'm uh, calculating the area of every park. Um, notice I'm calculating in hectares by applying a multiplier that's different, converts from meters to hectares. There's a, another tip for you for today. We calculate the number of trees per hectare and then we filter that data. So if there's more than 200 trees per hectare, then I'm saying it's continuous cover. If there's more than 75, I'm saying, well, it's discontinuous, there's a few gaps. More than 20, it's sporadic, and so on. So each park will come into this transformer. It will go down the list of tests until it finds one that it matches, and then it will output through that port. So each feature comes in and outputs through one of those ports, whichever one it matches first. So if it's more than 210, then it will go out of the continuous cover port and won't continue down with the rest of the tests. We can show that that happens because 80 features come in and 80 features go out. So one feature comes in, it goes out one of the ports. That's it. But there's another setting in the test filter that says the output changes from first passing ports to all passing ports. In other words, it'll come in, it will go out through a test that it matches, but then it will carry on and see if it matches any other tests as well. Now that doesn't really make sense in this scenario, but I've got a scenario in which it does, and I wanted to show that to you. So this is the workspace that I use to process entries into the 12 days of FME contest that's going on right now. If you haven't tried it yet, fme.ly slash 12 days 2022, give it a go. So what happens is people enter a puzzle, um, it's to do with um, finding flights for the FME lizard to go on. And in this case, I'm giving the answers out to uh, puzzle one, which is fine because it's closed now. And the lizard is flying to Sao Paulo, flight SFE 444, and it arrives on the 9th of June, 2023, 8.20 a.m. So the first part, uh, which is just this, that processes the incoming data and just checks you've not played already and so on. And then the bottom part writes a HTML report and streams that back to you just to say, thank you for submitting your response. We'll let you know what your score is later. This bit is where we calculate the score and we write it to a database. So let's have a look at how that works because you can see that there's a test filter in there already. So I've got one feature coming in and three features coming out. So why is that? Well, what I've done is I've said, I've got a test for three things. I want to test if you've got the flight correct, the city correct, and the arrival time correct. And I've got those three tests and I've set it to all passing ports. So in other words, every time you get one of these aspects right, it will output another feature from the output port. So we've got one, two, three right because I got all of them correct. And there we go. And that's the easiest way to uh, calculate the results because thinking about it any other way, well, I would have to say, well, if the flight was right, and the city was right, but the time was wrong, that would be two. But if the flight was right and the time was right, but the city was wrong, well, that would be two. If the city was right and the flight and the time were wrong, that would be one. It will get a bit complicated to do all of those tests like that. So I just put the three simple tests in like this, say output one for every passing port, and then I put an aggregator in to calculate the score. And all the aggregator does is join those features back together, and down at the bottom it says calculate the number of aggregated features. In other words, we've got three right, so we've got three features, so it will say my correct score is three, which we should see in here, submission score three. If I run this again and get the city wrong, like Paris, I won't get a feature out of the city port. I will get one out of the arrival and the flight, and therefore the aggregator will only aggregate two features together, and the submission score is two. So that's a, a great example of where the, sorry, the test filter or passing ports test can be quite useful to you. So yeah, I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you another time. Thanks. Bye.